273rd episode of Coffee Bugs Weekly for the last week of September 2017. This episode is titled, Still Coming. Coffee Bugs Weekly is brought to you by Arcus, and we are hiring. If you are a Salesforce consultant or administrator and want to be part of a unique and growing company, send your resume to careers at arcusinc.com. I'm your host, Jason Out, and joining me, co-host, Double Speed, Justin Edelstein. Justin, how are you doing? Great. This is very exciting for me. Very, because you are actually doing I'm, the recording. I'm behind the sound booth. I'm you, the producer. You're the producer today. this time. I'm super excited. So you're less less useless today. I'm more useful. Mm, less useless. I, I don't same. Know. So we don't have a lot of time today. Couple notes, just fun notes. One is uh, this is the last recording from the studio ever. This studio is being shut down. Being shut down. You're moving out of it. By the health department. <laughs> For good reason. <laughs> at least no you comment. said it. At least you said it. I didn't have to say it. Um, so that's kind of fun. And and you're recording because apparently an upgrade to Mac OS High Sierra has foobarred my garage band and I couldn't figure out the new garage band quick enough. So there you have that. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but whatever. We'll figure it out. This might come out next year. So we're going to do a quick little pod- potty cast here. Probably like, you know, it's a quick one. It's a quickie. 10, 15 minutes, maybe, maybe tops. Maybe max. Let's talk about our two blog posts of the week. Sure. First of the one yep. that we demissed. Yeah, we missed this one. Well, a loyal listener and blogger came to us and apparently was a little miffed that we didn't talk about his first and only. Yeah. He was miffed. So we're going to skip it again. Mostly miffed. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> mostly funny. miffed at you because I blamed you, but. Oh. That's Whatever. true. So uh, we can go backwards in time. And I guess this was during a lot of the winter stuff. That's why. It was I got pre. Yeah, I think it came out the same week as some of the winter stuff. So it got a little pushed to the background. But we'll bring it to the foreground now. Go. Salesforce Trailhead 101 for nonprofit organizations by Mr. Ryan the Hitman Boyle. <laughs> Maybe if I made everybody have a. That's the other thing <laughs> I could do. The Hitman I could, Boyle? Yeah. I was going to do jazz hands. I'll do that next time. <laughs> By the way, the Moodle meter today has Justin in a positive mood. Bing! <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so Ryan gave an overview of... He, he really took a deep dive into Trailhead. And Wait, how Trailhead? What's trailhead? this thing called Trailhead? It's a thing. It's going to be huge. So he went into a little deep dive and in, into Trailhead and gave some of the essentials for nonprofit organizations that are out there that are either struggling using Salesforce, just getting started using Salesforce, hired somebody to run their Salesforce and want to get them up to speed. Here's a good way to do it. Uh, it it's, it's understood that it's a bit of an overwhelming task to take on the administration of any new software salesforce included yep that, that just like gets thrown like in your lap common theme in yep. the last couple of days it just gets thrown in your lap and you know trailhead's there to help you out so ryan gave uh we call him boyle by the way. well whatever he gave whatever his name is gave yeah. the hitman gave four like he plays the hits you he get does, it like he, he plays play the hits, hits. yeah he plays the hits. He's the hit man. He gave top 40, uh, top four trails. You're just not going with my... No, I don't yet. like it. All so right. anyway, there's quite literally hundreds of trails, but he gave four that he thought were essential for becoming a successful right. user of Salesforce at a nonprofit. So I have a little side trailhead thing. I have been trying to push people, clients, to trailhead I find it's not as easy as you would expect. It's like, hey, there's this fun thing over there. It's fun, fun, fun. And they're like, yeah, let's just do normal training. Like, yeah. You notice like how, I don't know, I just feel like- Well, they are, they're our clients and they are paying us to train them. So there's yeah, that. But most of the time. I've had a positive experience yeah. with actually pointing someone to this very blog post. Oh, really? And saying, hey, why don't you read this blog post that Ryan wrote? I didn't say his name, but whatever, that we wrote. The Hitman. And the Hitman wrote. And and there's some links on there to these things called trails. And he explains what they are, and you'll get a good sense of what it is that you're about to do. And then you could just link right, up, right out to them from 
the blog post and they were actually very pleased. They said, thank you, that was really helpful. Oh, good, it's good. Well, it's, it's, it's obviously a good, it's a nice topic. Blogmaster must have approved of it. Um, there's no such thing. There is no such thing yet. Okay. Oh, stay tuned, stay ladies, tuned. ladies and gentlemen. I, I don't want anything to do with it at All this right. point. Um, so good. So go out to blog that yeah. and read not it. Not even going to tell you what they are. No, I mean, there's there. four of them. There's four. I've taken them all. They're good. Where are you badge wise now? What you at? Um, What's your badge count? I'm in the th I'm in the thirties because I'm in the midst of the lightning rollout specialist super badge i'm halfway through it nice. there's 10 trails in it i've done five and there were four prereqs so i had to do some of those too so i'm in the mid 30s cool and the yeah it's there's some real work to do in that super badge like most i i think super badges are great because that's a good that's a good level like where are you the only thing is like if you're just like, well, I you guess get, it's just like Salesforce. You just Google something and you can find, if you get answer, stuck, you right. can find how to figure it out. But that's like anything in Salesforce. Yeah, except for cert. You can't Google the cert. You can't Google cert answers. Those, yeah. they, they actually like find and take down. Really? I've seen that. Huh. Yeah, it's like, I've seen that kind of thing. Anyway. I've seen it, like people ask it in answers and I've seen a Salesforce person come in and be like, this looks like a question from a cert no answer for you and just like shut the answer down <laughs> no answer for you anyway let's move on speaking to, of no answers for yeah, you winter 18 lightning report builder yeah daniel webster daniel deej yeah i don't know i was gonna do a nickname that's the daniel nickname, the deej. builder webster the builder. <laughs> right see i love i, I love it. his little his little <laughs> logos are really he, good. He did a, it's a he, good image. He did a Bob the Builder uh, logo. Uh, well, it's got a, he's got a lunch pail with the Salesforce, Salesforce and then he's got Arcus across the chest. Oh, wow. I didn't even see the it's really Arcus. good. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> Very good. Um, so he attacked the, I think, one of the bigger features coming in Winter 18, um, which is the new report builder, uh, the Lightning report builder. Uh, so if you've been in lightning, you know, one of the things is you go back to, you go back to your, you go to the reports and then you click new report and it goes Doop, and throws you back inside of lightning, but in the classic interface, right? Not the greatest experience. Slightly jarring. It is slightly jarring and it, and report building looks very old at this point, boy, the UI and all that look very different. Um, even like looks old for Salesforce. It looks as old as old can be. Um, and this so, is the this is like the new interface, the yeah. drag and drop one versus right. the uh, before. Oh, oh, analytics edition! Didn't we all purchase analytics well, edition? Everyone purchased analytics edition. Thirty five dollars per user per month. Just buy it. Why wouldn't I buy it? Of course. <laughs> so stupid. Um, <laughs> so many things. Dude, it's so funny. I bought like, every I feel, like that, I feel like that's my entire job is just to be the stupid moves that Salesforce made historians like, come back to me. I'll never forget that spring release they messed up on, Analytics Edition, the presentation builder, like I'll never forget. You want cross filters? Analytics Edition. Analytics Edition, you better pay for that crap. Never mind, it's like a third of the cost of your, of your license. You want joined reports? Analytics, Analytics Edition. edition. <laughs> God, you, you, want, you want to measure goals? Work.com, oh wait, that's dead too. Um, all right, so let's talk about, uh, well, anyway, he, he does a good job just sort of like showing you what you can do and kind of comparing. Screenshotting. Um, yes, yeah, screenshotting. There Telling is, you what you can't do. Yes, and he red arrows some stuff in here. Yep. Crazy red arrows. He must have had fun with this preview. Um, so the largest omissions, he says, includes cross filters, joined reports, and bucketing. Yeah. And so, they have plans to someday, maybe, have them ready by the general release. I find they're just <laughs> someday maybe by the general release. I find there are things in Lightning about report building. So when you're in a report, not on the builder side, I haven't used the new builder, but on the report side, there's some nice things like you can click, like the charting is very nice. You click the chart, it shows up, and you can control it right there while you're looking at the report. Unlike the old one, you have to go back into the edit mode. Edit chart. Right, and then, Above, pop, then below, pop a new window. Medium above and then like get it and then it wouldn't look like this is like real time and it has all these nice animations but i find some of the stuff like filtering like i i don't i don't like how you can't quickly change date date ranges they have 
you have this filter on the side and you have to kind of expose it as versus classic, it was just right there in line. You could go, current year, run. Last year, run. Tomorrow, run. And this, you kind of have to go in and then click in, then it pops another window. I think that's something in Lightning that Salesforce has to take a look at. It gets too modal. Like it modals and modals and modals and a filter within a filter within a filter. Love me some modals. And I'm not sure I do. I'm just saying. I think that's a um, uh, that's a thing. So anyway, the new report builder coming to a Salesforce org near you. It is beta. Yes, beta. I don't know if it's it considered is. beta. It is. It is. Is it? Yeah, it is. It's a beta. Um, and you do have to give yourself. A, I think you have to give yourself a permission set in order to use it. So you don't get. You don't just yeah. turn it on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm now reading at the bottom. He writes, want to want to talk Lex or Lightning, re spelled wrong, Light, Lighting Report Builder, never mind. Uh, want to talk about the new Game of Thrones season seven was actually one of the best seasons <laughs> yet. <laughs> How do you sneak this stuff in? I don't know. Girl, I didn't read it I before it went up. That's so terrible. Uh, good That's job, good. Daniel. Good job for sneaking that stuff up onto the blog. Um... <laughs> Looking for friends in all the wrong places. All right, uh, let's do a little. We have a little, little time uh, to talk about your your adventure. So where'd you go? What'd you do? Because uh, we hinted towards it in the last podcast. Yeah, so I was in Spain, Malaga, to be precise, and I was there to assist with the rollout of, you're pointing at things on my screen. What are you pointing at? Yeah, it's not recording anymore. Of course it is. Oh yeah, it is, okay. Yeah, you're just not used so to seeing I, it I this way. I just couldn't see it, I couldn't see, see it See, right there, it's moving. I'm the producer. This podcast brought to you by Justin's computer. Oh my gosh. All right, go ahead, still recording. All right, so where was I? I was in Malaga, that's where I was. Hey, producers cut that stuff out and, in yeah, post. I was in Spain, I was with one of our clients, Eisenhower Fellowships. We were rolling out a new community for their fellows, and they were having a, a conference called The Future of Work, and they wanted to beta test the community, see how it was gonna go, see how the launch would work, and see how people would react to it, get some feedback on it, so that when we really roll it out um, to a larger audience, we can have some feedback to add back into the product. All in all, it went really, really well. Uh, the conference was a really great conference. They had breakout sessions that they called iLabs, which were kind of like a little competition of projects that were being presented, and they were all uh, it was very, very much modeled after like the Dreamforce community that had like session records and chatter, chatter feeds on those records. People can post their presentations. Uh, we allowed for voting uh, as, as to who won the competition. Yep. Uh, all of this happened inside of Salesforce, all the communication, the agenda, everything was going on inside Salesforce. It was very, very cool. Uh, and it was a whirlwind. I was I was in Spain for like four days. It was a whirlwind affair. You have to you have to get there and then get back. Yeah, I mean, Europe in four days is not good. I've I done... left on a Wednesday evening at eleven thirty p.m. New York City, and I got there at twelve thirty p.m. the next mor the next afternoon Thursday. I then left on Sunday afternoon at. 2 p.m. and arrived in New York at 5 p.m. on Sunday, the right. same day. So it was like just barely a lot there. of barely scratched. A lot surface. of traveling. Uh, I did eat tapas. The worst I've ever done is San Francisco out and back in the same day. That's no fun. <laughs> Literally just fly out, two-hour meeting, a couple drinks, and get in a plane and fly back. Really, yeah. it was a good adventure though. A great experience and a successful beta launch of the product. And you People got to work the feedback. booth. Yes, there was a booth. It was called the it was called the iLounge powered by Salesforce. Apple didn't come and sue you for all the i usage. I am not the one who did that. Oh, okay. So <laughs> Eisenhower can deal with that. Um, yeah, it was it was good clean fun. Had a couple monitors in front of me, big ones showing people how to use it, how to get in, reset some people's passwords, 
mostly did everything on people's phones. Really? Yeah. Most cool. most everything was on people's phones. So that was cool. That's very cool. The power of Salesforce One Mobile. Yeah, it wasn't even Salesforce One Mobile. It was just a oh. community that was optimized. Oh, you just do it on optimized. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, all right, well, I don't know what we're doing next time. We won't, might not have a podcast because we might not be able to record anything. Yeah. Uh, so that'll be fun. I have to figure out how to stop recording this. Oh, no, we, we need to do picks. Yes, we have to do picks. Oh, let me do mine. All right. All right, I have it in front of me. All right. It's my wife's. It's not mine. My wife. My wife. It's, it's my wife. This is a hardware pick. Yeah. It's oh. called the... Wait, 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 can we add this to the list of picks you've made that you've never used? Yeah. That... Yes, you, right. just add it to this the list. This one you don't even own. No, well, I mean, kind of. I mean, well, the wife no. owns it, but... Yeah, that doesn't make you own it. Sure, it's the little ladies. Um, all right, so OWC is the company. Oh, they the World be, Computing. Yep, sure. Uh, they make... <laughs> They've been around for like <laughs> 10, 15 years. Sure, MaxSales.com. Yep, all those things. Yep. Uh, they made a dock for the new macbook pros one that minute. the ones that have just the usb c's in them yep and this is a it's called the thunderbolt 3 dock and it literally comes and again the little lady i think i've talked about she's a film editor so she has some older drives and older tech that kind of like you know make the new versions of right. like this stuff doesn't move so fast so she needed something like this and this dock has 13 ports of connectivity yeah attached to it it has it has an sd card slot it has five usb three ports just in case you need five of them i i do need five it has a digital audio port okay it has uh firewire 800 which is really like why she bought it. Right. Um, For old school uh, firewire. A, yep. A gigabit internet, a gigabit ethernet, two Thunderbolt 3 ports, so you don't lose those, one mini display port, and okay, then. Two I don't need to know actually. Yeah, and then port. one hybrid uh, microphone jack, so, uh, you know, connecting external mic speakers, et cetera. Anyway, not cheap, it's dude. not, it's $299, but. She needed all these connectors and dongles and things, so this is what she went with, and it finally shipped. It was announced way back when, when they announced these MacBook Pros, and people were like, dongle, 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 <laughs> and she needed more thing? than just a you know, random set of dongles. She needed this. So random set of dongles. Yeah, what are you doing? You're playing with your phone. Yeah, well, I'm listening to your, your thing. I know what it is, but I'm trying to get ready for my pick. My pick, Housecraft. So one thing that's released in OS 11 is VR. So now they have lots of VR apps like this one that can place furniture. Oh, you put a chair in my apartment. I put a chair in your apartment. This would have been very useful for you about, I don't know, a month ago? Yeah. Because you can literally just place serious objects and you have all sorts of different kinds. The, Ikea where did one. those come from? Is that from an app? So yeah, so it's called Ma it's Housecraft. Oh, and so like I could oh look, you have this actual thing. I could have placed that thing there, and you place it there, and then you can resize it. You can move it around. You can spin around it to see how it looks in the in the room. It'd be cool Very if you cool. could take your own pictures, your own like screenshots of whatever it is that you're doing, and drop them. I'm out. sure it's all coming. I, again, IKEA has one that has their stuff. So of that's, course, that's the that's the panacea. It's very right smart. There. You have an empty wall. You're like, well, yeah. it'll look good on this wall. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, that would look good. Right. The VR Which stuff desk is very would work cool. good on this wall? The games are cool. Like VR is super awesome. You gotta have, I think, like a seven or above on the phones. No to problem. Do it. Um, no problem. But it's called Housecraft. Free. Try it out. Try out all the VR apps. There are really, I mean, this is, Apple's making a big play. I think they're trying to play catch up, but anyway, so Housecraft. Is that uh, VR or AR? Sorry, uh, augmented reality there versus virtual reality. That's yes. augmented, yeah? It's augmented. It's okay. not virtual. It's, it's not real, virtual. But it's augmented. It's augmented. Yes. All right. And it's, it's based on their thing called AR Kit. Hey, wrap this uh, up. All right, wrapping them up. So follow us on Twitter at JustLC and at Jason Matt with at Arcasin, Facebook.com forward slash Arcasink, Success Community, Power of Us Group Hubs. We have we have groups there. We got the groups. We have the meets. Is that Arby's? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, LinkedIn, Google Plus, and we're on TuneIn, and we're on. Um, 
Google Play, which is more important. You can subscribe there, iTunes, Stitcher, all these places. Until next week, and you got to hit the big stop button when I'm Stop. When I'm I got done. it. I right, got you it. You ready? I got it. I'm ready. <laughs> it's Justin and Jason saying enjoy those cloudy days. <laughs>